MD Python Designer is the most affordable of all the MD products. It includes all the GUI designers for unlimited usage, but also several IDEs and the complete toolkit for databases, making it the perfect choice for a programmer or anyone trying to get into coding. MD Python Designer comes with an IDE for MatDeck Simplified C, as well as several Python IDEs for several different libraries, such as Tinker, Kiwi, and PySci2. To open a new MatDeck document or IDE, you'll need to click the small triangle next to the new icon. To open any Python IDE, you'll need to hover over a new Python script, with the console script being a general Python IDE instead of a specialized one. To open any of the GUI designers, you'll need to open the specialized IDE, like the Tinker script, and then go to the programming ribbon and click the GUI designer icon. From there, all you need to do is click new. All the GUI designers in MD Python Designer work using drag and drop. So you click on a widget and then you add it to the canvas. There are also containers which can be added, such as a scroll widget and also a tab widget. You can also add more widgets until you are satisfied with the widgets you have. To customize any of the widgets, you will need to click on the widget you would like to customize and then head over to the right hand side of the GUI designer. Here you can change the font of the widget, the font color, as well as the widget color, also known as the back color. You can also change what cursor will appear when you hover over the widget. So instead of the normal arrow, you can change it to a circle or a clock. You can also change it to more unique and uncommon ones, such as a trek or even a spider. You can change the width and height of a widget here, or you can use the little boxes on the widget itself to change the size of it. To change the text on any text-based widgets, such as a button, a list box, or a combo box, you can just double click on it and then change to the text you would like it to be. This is available for all text-based widgets. To customize the background of a GUI, you need to click the background here. From there, you can head over to the right-hand side to customize it and change things such as the background color. For example, you can change it to a darker gray than the one that is automatically set. You can also change the cursor here. You can customize any and all widgets like this, all without writing a single line of code. And then, once you are happy with your GUI or widget, all you need to do is click done and the code will automatically be generated. To view the code, you need to either click these three dots or hover over them and you can see the code. To see or run your GUI, all you need to do is click the evaluate button. However, you can also package your GUI as a .exe file using the deploy button. This will create the GUI as a standalone application, meaning that it can run by itself and will not need MapDeck on the computer to be able to function. This also means that you can share the GUI between an unlimited amount of Windows computers all by copying and pasting the file or by sending it and running it. This is just the Tinker GUI designer. With MD Python Designer, you also get unlimited access to the Kiwi GUI designer, the MatDeck GUI designer, and also the PySci2 GUI designer, all of which are accessed in the same way and have the same layout as this GUI designer. The only difference is the library they're using and the code generated, but apart from that, they're all the same. All the IDEs have autocorrect and each IDE is specialized towards its library. You can see this if you start typing in the name of a function, such as print, it will automatically come up. The same goes for any declared variables. For example, value, when declared, and then when it's starting to be typed again, will automatically come up. This is incredibly efficient and time-saving and saves tons of tedious work. MD Python Designer isn't just a bunch of IDEs, for programmers and coders, it also contains several no-code solutions and toolboxes, as well as the MatDeck document, which in itself is incredibly powerful. Some of these no-code solutions and toolboxes include the database browser, but also the SQLite manager, which is specifically made for working with SQLite databases. With the SQLite database browser, you can create new databases by just clicking the new database button and entering a name. You can also create tables in the same way. Create table and then adding a name. Now, with that table, you're going to need to add fields. You can also change the type of fields you add. So instead of them all being integers, which is the value automatically assigned, you can change it to text or a real value. From there, all you need to do is click create and the table has successfully been created. Once you have created your database, you can browse the data. Here, we open the database and then we can view the data, but also we can write information such as numbers or text. We can also add new records by clicking the new record button. 
as you can see now we can write more data and then once we finish all we need to do is save it and the information will be saved to the database all without code lastly we have the document which is the most powerful part of the software as here we can combine code GUIs and much more while also adding text and other visual aids to insert code we can first insert text code by clicking the text code icon in the programming ribbon this text code is the MATLAB simplified C but we can also add Python by clicking the Python icon now anything that we code in this section will need to be Python code we can also transfer variables between the code allowing us to utilize functions from both languages while this document is not explicitly an IDE, we do get some IDE features when using it, such as auto suggestions. As you can see, when we start writing the letters of a function, the suggestions for that function automatically come up. However, due to the Matic Simplified C language having so many different functions and uses, the list can be quite large. However, the most important feature of the Matic document is how we can combine this code with GUIs and also our canvases. Canvases allow us to insert all sorts of objects. They also allow us to code normally. As you can see, when I double click, an object is created. And here we can write code or variable definitions. And here we can also insert formula templates, which allow us to quickly use formulas without needing to write them out or find them. First, we must find the formula. And then once we do that, we need to click the insert icon and then click on the canvas. And now, as you can see, the formula has been pasted. Now all we need to do is only change the values of the variables we have inserted. For example, instead of 12, we can add 120. And then all we need to do to figure out V2 is do V2 and then equal sign. And as you can see, it's already figured it out. Now since the MATLAB document is a live document and evaluates itself in real time, we don't need to stop and run it every single time we make a change. All we need to do is make the change. For example, instead of having V1 as 101, we can now change it to be 161. And as you can see, it's already worked it out in real time. Now we can also add toolboxes in and combine all our document work with the toolboxes directly. To do this, all we need to do is first find which toolbox or form we would like. The database one from earlier is on the database toolkit. And then all we need to do is click the form icon and then from there, click on our document. And as you can see, the toolbox has been added in. This is perfect that it allows you to combine several toolboxes in one document with code, the canvases and many more features all in one area. However, the clear advantage of MD Python Designer is how it combines several GUIs all in one package for one affordable price. Not only do you have the MATLAB GUI Designer, but you also have the Tinker, Kiwi and PySci2 GUI Designer. All these GUI designers work with a drag and drop basis, meaning that it's incredibly easy to add new elements to the canvas. And then all you need to do is click done to generate the code. And you yourself don't need to write a single line of code. This is incredibly time saving as you don't need to find, write and test code. But instead, all you need to do is click done and generate it. And all this comes with several GUI designers, with Kiwi and PySci2 giving you the option to sell and create apps to the mobile market with their designers. MD Python Designer provides all of this and more all at one software and with one price. Because of this, MD Python Designer gives you ultimate freedom as it provides several GUI designers which come automatically installed, making them instantly available to use, and also the MatDeck document, which gives you unlimited possibilities.